It's a heavyweight clash between Bruce Lee and Charles Oliveira. This dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight. And it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts, there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into it, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half block. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 30 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Charles Dobrox. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the heavyweight division. Herb. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter, taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Real quick leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at that switch knee, beautiful switch knee. Oliver doing the right things defensively. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, missed on that one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. Oh, all right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was gonna attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Nicely done. Lee's attempting to pass 
defense here, but he's denied by the defense. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Oliveira. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Charles Oliveira. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Now, ooh, nice trip to get the takedown. All right, side control now. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. This is a terrible position. Oh, he's attacking choke now. We gotta push the arm down, maybe step into a crucifix. Oh, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. No way. His opponent had to tap from an inverted triangle. This is not something we see very often. Well, I don't determine who wins the bonuses, but when you execute an inverted triangle choke like that, 50 jump. Pay that man. Pay that man. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle. Charles the Bronx Oliver! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.